Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, we're going to find out what's in here together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. If you'd like to get your hands on some cool stickers and other benefits, there's of course a link right down in the description. You're supporting me in the world to me. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. As per usual, unboxings on this channel are exactly that. They are unboxings and first impressions, which means this is not a review. This is simply... Uh, going to be me getting it out of the box and experiencing the knife for the very first time. Usually, usually the knives that I unbox are knives that I'm experiencing for the first time. I give my initial thoughts, and then uh, a couple weeks down the road, I give the uh, full review after I've had a chance to interact with the object. <laughs> it's going to be this filler dialogue while I get that out there. We have what looks like a Benchmade, and yeah, thanks for the extra packing material for sure. What do we have here? Oh, guys, here it is. This is the new 20CV Benchmade Bug Out. Um, so, I have owned a Bug Out. I, I have not been kind to the initial release of the Bug Out because I do not like drivery. And I know there's always people who want it. Sorry, I was trying to, yeah, I made it. All the way across the room, threw that uh, packing material in there. Um, I, I don't, I did not like drivery. I don't like the hollow feeling. I know people always want to jump on me and be like, it's just as durable. You should you should change your ways. Um, I, I get that. I get the philosophy behind the bug out. But uh, the difference in terms of weight between the Grivery version of the bug out and the G10 or any uh, bug out that has G10 scales added to it is um, less than a quarter ounce, which is not something um, almost anybody. There, there might be like a handful of people in the entire world who can perceive the difference in weight not just holding it, but like carrying it in your pocket day to day, which is what we're gonna do with it, right? The difference in weight is trivial. And when you have G10, you have a material that in my opinion feels much higher quality. It feels much more solid. You don't have that obnoxious hollow sort of quack, you know, like somebody, um, you know, dropping a Tupperware bowl into a, a, a box full of broken light bulbs. That's what it makes me think of, right? Um, with G10, it feels much more solid. I love that they put this diamond pattern on here. That's really, really cool. This is uh, the production version. So you get gray G10 and you get these green standoffs and you, I'm sorry, green thumb studs and green standoffs, which I think is really cool. The other cool thing is 20CV being a stainless steel um, with a massive emphasis on uh, the ratio between stainless properties and um, uh, edge retention right? Not a tough steel. I think it is really exemplified in the profile of the bug out blade. Uh, it has not really made sense to me that they did, like it's cool they did one in M4. The 3V one was a flop because of the, the heat treat, right? At least that's what I've seen on, um, on other videos and testing and stuff. The S30V I think makes sense. It's fine. A 20CV I think makes even better sense on this knife. Now this is an expensive knife. I will be linking it down in the description. You can check it out. It's widely available right now. Um, I will also link Benchmade knives in general so you can see what else is available through Benchmade. But yeah, uh, if you are looking for like the ultimate production version of the Benchmade bug out, this is probably it. I've reviewed the Benchmade bug out. You can check it out. I've got other videos where I customized mine and, and made it... Uh, you know, I, I did all these these different things, right? So yeah, you can check that out, hear my thoughts on it, but we're still gonna talk about this one a little bit, just do a little bit of an overview, and I'm really happy that I've got a chance to check this out on the channel because I know how popular the bug out is, and uh, you know, there are definitely qualities uh, that I like about it. There's definitely some things that I really like about the bug out, and um, this is just, I think this is just a better version, a much more expensive version, sure, but a better version all the way around, especially to you know, the modern knife enthusiast. So anyways, um, that's about as much as I can say without getting into a full video of this. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.